Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing the B-A so-called business visa for Thailand. And the acronym seems to, I've seen this sort of bandied about in a lot of, you know, across the internet here recently, this B-A business approved. And they seem to be talking about it's for investors in a Thai company. And there was an old visa, there was an old category, they don't really use it anymore. It was called an IB visa, investor business visa. And I, I guess this acronym is kind of being used in its place. I've never, frankly, in dealing with this as a practical matter and dealing with these cases, I've frankly never seen immigration or Ministry of Foreign Affairs refer to one of these visas as a B-A, as a business approved. It, it I, I've just never seen them. I've just never seen the acronym. I've definitely never seen one on an actual visa document, on the actual travel document. Business visas are generally classified, you know, just as a B visa. Now, that stated, there are different types of B visas, as we've discussed at length in many videos on this channel. For example, teachers have different kind of business visas, as stated, investors at one time, although I haven't really seen that visa issued with the same frequency as, as in the past. And, and then there's just sort of your standard business visa for those that own or, in, I guess I kind of see the, the approved sort of, you're an investor in a Thai company sort of thing. Uh, long story short, most of the business visas I've seen, especially this past year, they definitely want to see work pre-authorization associated with the business visa before they'll ever even issue it. And for those who are unaware, that's a document called WP3. It's, it's sort of a precursor to a work permit. As we've noted in other videos on this channel back last summer, work authorized people were the only foreigners allowed into Thailand for like two months, actually three, going into last summer, summer 2020. They're, they closed everything down, then they only let Thais in, and then right after that, they did say, okay, if you have a work permit, if you're already work authorized, you can come into Thailand. So yeah, the, it's a pretty high level, you know, that's, that's a pretty high priority category. And it's been our experience that since that time, basically those that are work authorized are definitely prioritized more. And frankly, I haven't seen anyone other than work pre-authorized get a business visa in order to enter Thailand. 